guide. It should be a pretty entertaining evening of Australia Cup action. These two teams separated by a couple of levels in the Victorian football pyramid. Golden Valley have come down from, uh, from northern Victoria. They play in NPL 2. But Newell City play in State League 1 in the northwest. So there is a bit of a, a gap in terms of quality. But of course this is cup football and that's what we come to expect. And that gap is often bridged with intensity and desire. So it's a knockout game. The winner of this goes through to round seven, which is the last round before the A-League clubs join. So a real opportunity for both these clubs to have a, have a good cup run in 2022. It's pretty cool and a bit of precipitation coming down too, so conditions are not ideal. But, you know, football's a winter sport and we're heading towards winter in Melbourne, so it's what these players are used to. Golden Valley in their white and Benuel in the claret. So... Well, there'll be no, no confusing the two teams this evening. We're almost ready for a start. And as the planes roar overhead, we get underway here at the Valley Park Events Centre. Not the, uh, not the home ground for either of these teams. This is officially a Golden Valley home team, a home game rather, but uh, their ground is not deemed up to scratch. So we've come to the home of Hume City. So it's a bit of a trek for both these clubs, but they're now out on the pitch and uh, they won't care where they are. They just want to get it on. So let's uh, go through the lineups for both teams. For Benuel, Collison, the skipper, is also in goal. Uh, we've got Francis Karkas. Muhammad, Daniel, Siok Lee, Stella, Okuda, Kirkus, Vukic, and Hatsinikolaidis uh, uh, in the starting lineup for the men in red. And for Golden Valley, we have Balaburov, Enders, Gatkum, Hamilton, Musafiri, Ozawa, Pollock, Solima, and uh, Tutu Taya and Samuel Varley is in goal. So they are the two lineups. Not much to report uh, for a few minutes in here. Benuel going to the southern end this evening, probably slightly having the breeze behind them. Golden Valley going to the north. Here's Anstrad in midfield, sending it out wide. But Newell having a good spell on the ball here, and it's not dealt with all that convincingly at the back for for uh, Golden Valley there by Baloburov. Collison clearing for Benuel. In fact, it comes back to Collison on the last line of defence. Has Vukic there in support. Here's Suk Lee driving through midfield now, the Korean for Benuel. On one of their first four A's forward, he would have hoped for a better ball than that, though. Good recovery there by the Korean, and then he helps it on towards Akuda. Promising move here for for the men in Claret, and they go and they get a free kick in a pretty uh, pretty dangerous area here. Akuda provi proving to be a pretty tricky customer, winning the free kick. Probably right on the edge of goal scoring range. If he really wants to pull the trigger, he could have a go here. Akuda, Siok Lee also standing over it. So an early test for Vali in the Golden Valley goal. Four men in the wall. It's Okuda, and it's straight into the palms of Vali. You saw it all the way. And Okuda, in making the distance, sacrificed a bit of power. It wasn't really that much trouble for the Goldman Valley custodian in the end. But the first shot on goal, first of what should be quite a few in this cup tie.
Thank you for joining us wherever you may be watching on uh, MPL TV or via Facebook or YouTube. Great service provided for football fans right around the country and maybe around the world, wherever you are. Thanks for joining us. Early stages here. We've gone about four minutes or so. Just the one shot on goal for Binul, but they're coming forward here again through Siok Lee. And now it's Anstrad with a stride forward. Siok Lee again, he's been busy early on. Now his hat's in a Kalaitis, but he's lost the ball and a chance here for Goulburn to go on the break. Francis, Francis Karkas had to be quick there to try and beat out to try and uh, try and beat out uh, Balaburov there for Goulburn Valley. And the referee blows the whistle. And here come Goldman Valley again. They've turned it over in midfield. We don't have a number t number 14 on the team sheet, so uh, I'll endeavour to find out that player's name. But uh, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult in this competition, but uh, we'll try and work that out as the evening progresses. But it's at the other end of the pitch at the moment for Goldman Valley. And now it's Musafiri down the right-hand side. He's one of the danger men. He sends a cross in. There's nobody home for Golden Valley on this occasion. Akuda is back there for Benul, and he's happy to send it out of play. But they're on the front foot for the first time this evening here, the Suns. And here's an early goal for Benul against the run of play. And against the odds, they have scored a beautiful strike from outside the area by number 21, Ryan Kirkus. He's their talisman. He scored a couple of he scored a hat trick, in fact, on the weekend against Keelor Park, and he's continued that form here again in the Australia Cup and given Benul an early lead here. So we've only got a few minutes and the underdogs, a couple of leagues below, their opponents have taken the lead. It's Benul City 1, Goulburn Valley 0. It's just under seven minutes played. So a great start here for, for the men in Claret. And Goulburn Valley will really have their work cut out for them now. They've had a pretty tough season so far. The Suns, they're currently sitting bottom of NPL 2 with only one point from eight matches, seven losses and a draw. The Australia Cup has provided their only real, only real uh, joy so far this season. They had a big win last time out against North Sunshine, 5-0. And against opponents beneath them in the standings, they would hope to continue that good form, but they've suffered an early blow here let's see how they respond a lot of time still to go they've got the ball deep in defense here at the moment it's Gatcom now out to Musafiri on this near side he was one of the scorers when they beat North Sunshine last time out in this competition now they switch it to the far side here's Dacus Dacus on the left. Well outpointed there by Okuda, does well. And could turn defence into attack here, Siok Lee.
Just found out who number 14 is. It, it does appear to be Elijah Brooker, who was originally named as one of the subs, so there may have been a, a late change in the warm-up. But uh, he is on the pitch. And it's the opposing number 14 who's advancing forward here for, for Benuel. It's Stella. He's outpointed, though. Musafiri back there, clearing the danger only momentarily, though. It's Sukali now for Benuel. They've really got their tails up here. Now it's Hassini Kalaitis. Astrad. Astrad again in midfield. He's got Hassini Kalaitis out wide. Decides to do a bit of ping pong with Siok Lee instead. Nice football here from Benuel. Really spraying the passes around, making Golden Valley chase some tail. And it eventually comes undone. Here's Hamilton for Golden Valley. He's one of their main creators. And they've turned it over again. They've given the ball away a bit cheaply. Early in this game have the men in white. And Benuel, you can see they're playing quite a high line. They're really on top here at the moment. You'd back them to add to their lead the way this is going at the moment. Here's Suk Lee. They won't add to it with balls like that. There was nothing doing. And easy pickings for Varley. Nice play here again by Stella. It looks to have plenty of energy so far this evening. And that's a poor ball there by Musafiri. Turning it over once again, Goldwyn Valley. That's a ball forward and dealing with it there at the back was Salima for Goulburn Valley and he's conceded a corner first of the evening going the way of Benuel who are making all the running here in these early stages crossed 11 minutes now Benuel City 1 Goulburn Valley Suns nil. if you've just joined us Ryan Kirkus with the strike from outside the box opening the scoring in the 6th minute and now Benuel looking to add to their scoring here in the 11th minute with a corner it's a cooter to take it Astrad's up there. Also Muhammad. You're not going to find many headers with a ball like that. Okuda ends up on his backside, but it's the goal scorer, Kirkus, who retains possession for Benul and shows some strength. Now sliding into solid challenge there by Vukic. The referee lets it go. And Benul retain possession and come forward again. Here's Stella down the left-hand side. Nobody home for that corner. Back out to Suk Lee. Astrad, Muhammad. This really has been an impressive opening stanza by Benul. And now we've got uh, Hatsina Kaladis in all sorts of space down the left-hand side. And that one is dealt with by a Golden Valley defence that was split open a bit there. And whilst there is... Uh, a bit of distance between these two teams in terms of their respective leagues. The uh, form they've been in this season suggests they're much closer than that. Benuel have been having a pretty good season in State League One in the Northwest. They've unbeaten in the last nine in all competitions. They had a 3 2 win over Box Hill in their last Australia Cup clash. Here's the corner for them, their second of the night. And almost a second goal, too. Varley let that slip, but thankfully it went over the top of the crossbar. And it will be another corner for Benuel, who are all over the visitors here at the moment. And really probably should have done a bit better there. Probably should be two goals to the good. So it's Hatsina Kalidis with the corner again. 
Good delivery and it's flicked on and just wide of the upright. I think that was Francis Sarkis who got a glancing header onto that and again but you will think themselves unlucky not to be further ahead and Stella might think himself lucky to not get a yellow there. That was a pretty lusty challenge. Sun's really needing to get a foothold in this game. Here's Hamilton. In defence at the moment, not normally where you would see someone wearing the number 10 shirt. That's where he's required at the moment. Goulburn Valley getting it up into Banyul's half. It's a bit of a rarity at the moment. They're really pressing high Banyul City and uh, making life very difficult for the Suns. They have the ball deep in defence now, though. It's Vukic, Muhammad. Silkley here, nice turn. And now he's setting away Kirkus, who's already scored one goal. He won't get another here. A good sliding challenge there by Gatcom for Goulburn Valley, but it's another corner. Fourth of the evening so far for Banyul City. And we've only gone 15 minutes. Hatsina Kalaitis with the delivery again. Likes of Francis Sarkis will be the target. He's up, Francis Sarkis. Oh, it's kept out. It's bobbling around. Goulburn Valley hanging by the skin of their teeth there. How was that not 2-0? It could yet be 1-1 because they're on the break here now, the men in white. It's Osawa. Who's he got there in support? It's Hamilton coming up. Muhammad deals with it nicely, though. And Goulburn Valley, they really need to get their heads in the game at the moment. They could very well be out of business almost. Another glancing header from Francis Sarkis, it looked like it was, and then it pinballed around in the six-yard box. Goulburn Valley very lucky to get away with that one. Now they're looking to go on the front foot. Hamilton. And it ricochets into the area now. It's Brooks, or Brooker rather, going to ground. And out it goes. But in the forward third for Goulburn Valley, they've got a throw. So first opportunity to put some to put some pressure on the leaders here. Balaburov with the throw. Hamilton. Sawa went to ground, the referee. Said it involved a bit too much theatrics. Didn't give it. He's had cynical ladies. Long ball forward. Kirkus was the, Kirkup was the target. Balaburov again. Had more work to do back there than he would have liked so far. So too is Taya. Here's Hamilton starting to grow into the game. And that's a long ball down the channel. And scampering after it here is Brooker. Rather, it was Balaburov, sorry, who was getting forward there, trying to get on the end of it. Couldn't do so, but he has the throw here. Finds Osawa. But again, it comes to nothing, and Siol... Uh, Siok Lee is in acres of space. That's a disappointing ball, though. He had Kirkus in equally large amounts of room, but couldn't find him. Still early days. And here they come again. It's Kirkus. He has another shot from range. Why not when his first one worked? 
Bailey saw this one coming though and gets right behind it. So 18 and a half gone here at the Valley Park Events Centre for Newell City on top on the scoreboard and well on top in general play. They lead Goulburn Valley Suns by a goal to nil. Ryan Kirkus with the strike in the sixth minute. And they've had a number of guilt edge chances to extend their lead. Benuel, and given their dominance, they could let could yet live to rue not adding to their lead. If Goulburn Valley do get themselves going, they are the higher ranked team with plenty of time left. Benuel may may rue not making the most of this period of dominance. They have another ball forward here. Comes to nothing. Varley sees it well. Sam Varley, resplendent in his old pink goalkeeping uniform. Certainly can't miss him out there this evening. Gatcombe. And now Hamilton with a long ball through the middle and tried to control it was Brooker. Vukic hacked it away from him. Osawa is there to try and keep the pressure on. Now Paulick in midfield. Another long ball from him. Easily cut off, and now they're going away on the count of Benuel. It's Hatsikolaitis again. Taya chops off the cross. Very open game now at the moment. You sense we've got plenty more goals coming, and in pretty short time as well. Here's Dacus on the left-hand side. He's cutting in. He's finding some room. He tests the keeper. First shot on target for Goulburn Valley, and Collison... Did well, saw it all the way. Never really tested him, but some signs here that Goulburn Valley are slowly working their way into this contest after a very sleepy first 20 minutes or so. Here's Francis Sarkis. Not much pressing going on here from Goulburn Valley. It's a stark contrast between Benuel's approach and theirs. They are really pressing hard and playing up high, the Clarets, but uh, Goulburn Valley preferring to sit back. They have the ball now, though. It's Asawa. Not much happening with that ball, though. It's all too easy. All the way back to Collison. Here's Muhammad again. No one really coming to close him down. He and Armstrad have plenty of space. Now it's up forward. It's chested on by Suk Lee. Okada trying to sneak in. And now here's Kirkus, the goal scorer. Runs out of room on this occasion and can't control the ball and it's out for a goal kick. So an opportunity goes begging for the goal scorer there and for Benuel. But that aside, Dominic Barber will be thrilled with the way his team have begun this match. It's a question of whether they can maintain it, though. We've gone just over 20 minutes, 22 minutes. Do they have the uh, petrol in the tank to maintain this sort of intensity for the full 90? We'll wait and see. Here's Hamilton now. Balavurov loses the ball right below us. And now it's Stella racing away down the left with his ponytail waving in the breeze. Here he goes. Keeps his feet. And sends a ball to the far post where there's nobody waiting for it. Kirkus has to backtrack. And they do win another corner. Benuel, that's their fifth of the evening. Not sure Goulburn Valley have had one yet. That's uh, another example of Benuel's dominance. They go short this time. 
Sam Strand. And now a flying shot from Makuta. That was a bit ambitious. It was always going well over the top. Suns work it to the near side. And again, it's Gatcom going long down the channel. Good header there by Hatsinika Ladies, who's had a good start to the game, as have quite a few of his teammates. Here's Paulick now. Goes backwards in the hope of going forwards. Here's Taya, tall, lanky centre back. Turn the ball over yet again. Goulburn Valley. Siuk Lee. Armstrand. Muhammad. So much time and space for the Banyul defenders to try and orchestrate play. Here they come down the left-hand side. It's been a favourite hunting ground for them so far. Calls of handball against Kirkus there. Fall on deaf ears in, as far as the referee is concerned. Good challenge there by Muhammad. Now Armstrand who goes down. And a free kick here again in promising position for Banyul City. I think Armstrand had uh, thoughts of going long there, but his, his coach told him not to. Dominic Barber telling him to just play, and that's certainly what uh, Banyul City have been doing in this first 25 minutes. They've looked much the better side, despite being two divisions behind their opponents. Salima with the interception. Goes all the way back to the safety of Vali. Really struggling for ideas out there at the moment. Galvin Valley. It's long balls and not much else. As Hamilton finds himself on his backside. And now it's Kirk up finding Stuk Lee to double their lead. He dinks the keeper and hits the crossbar. Comes back. Stella was there to try and get the rebound. They're still going Armstrad, but the chance goes. And that is another occasion where you really wonder how on earth they didn't find the back of the net. Siuk Lee with a delightful chip. It very nearly come off, but he might have been better served just to put his foot through it. He was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper inside the area. Just needed to get some power behind it, and it was 2-0 to Benil City. And again, you just wonder if these chances could come back to bite them later in the game. Here's Stella, who's been busy down this left-hand side. Siuk Lee, now in the wide areas, looking to cut in. Can he go better than he did moments ago? He's got a bit more work to do this time. Kirkus is there in support. But the fancy footwork brings him undone and Goulburn Valley come away. Musafiri, they need to get him on the ball a bit more. The Suns, he's been quiet. Here's Muhammad. They're keeping the pressure on here, Benul. This is impressive stuff. If only they had a bit more in product. Maybe some will come here. It's Siuk Lee with a flying shot come cross. Not sure which one it was, but it really tested Valley. Now it's a Kuda from range. They're peppering the Goulburn Valley goal at the moment. And the way this is going, you think it's only a matter of time before a second comes. Bit sloppy there from Dacus. 
Just miscuing that ball and sending it out of play. Sort of sums up Goulburn Valley's half so far. Here's Muhammad. Vukic. The new defence hasn't had much to do so far, except orchestrate attacks. And here's Sukli, who's got him behind. He's got support coming. One of them is Okuda. Vali makes a good save again. Another opportunity goes begging. Can Goulburn Valley try and hit them on the break here? They've certainly got some space. Paulick sends it out wide to the grandstand side. Benuel getting back in numbers now. Here's Paulick in the centre circle. And the referees found a free kick there for Goulburn Valley. So an opportunity here. They haven't had too many. It's a fair way out, but set piece might be their best bet at the moment. They have been sending a lot of long balls forward. That's been their modus operandi so far this evening. So this might be the chance they need to get back into this game. Hamilton to take it. He goes short. Dacus. He's easily outpointed, though, by Armstrand. That's a disappointing result for Goulburn Valley. They need to do better than that. Here's Okuda. Now Kirkus holding the ball up. Muhammad in midfield now. He's had a heap of the ball. And here's Shukli in space. Finding Stella is in even more space. Too much space, he was offside. But again, an example of how they're just sneaking in behind so easily, Benuel, particularly down this left-hand side. They might have been offside on that occasion, but there's plenty of other times when they have been on. Goulburn Valley desperately needing to tighten up at the back. Here's Taya to Valley to Gatcom. He's been their main outlet. Can't find a way through here, though. He goes back to Taya. So we've crossed the half an hour mark. Banyul City 1, Goulburn Valley 0, if you're just joining us. And it's the State League one side who have been dominant, who really should be two or three goals further ahead. But as I speak, it's Goulburn Valley coming forward with one of their rare attacks. Down the right-hand side. It's Dakis coming in board. Muhammad can't clear it. Now it's Asawa from the edge of the area. Good save by Collison. Comes back to Asawa. His shot is blocked. And now it's into the path of Collison again. He hasn't had much to do, Dan Collison. But he was certainly up to the task there with a good acrobatic save from Asawa. Their first shot on target all evening for the Suns. It's taken more than half an hour. And now Benuel quickly looking to go out the other end, but Kirkus is off. Taylor with the kickoff over to Gatcom. Can they use this as a, a bit of a, a bit of a marker? A, Starting point from them getting back into the game, Goulburn Valley, with that shot on goal. Can they really put Benuel under the pump from here on into the end of the half? They've hardly made Benuel sweat at all. It's been a, a very easy first 30-odd minutes or so for for Benuel City. They must be wondering whether uh, the whether National League 2 is all that tough at all. Goulburn Valley are at the bottom of that league, though. As Farley nearly gets himself into strife at the back, Shukli was trying to charge him down. As a balloon or a second ball comes onto the pitch. Thankfully, Hamilton's got the proper one. 
And here go the Suns. Down the right-hand side, Musifira. He's been quiet, but he's snuck in behind here, but the referee has pulled him back. A free kick. You might be able to hear in the, uh, in the effects that the Suns coaching staff are not impressed. One of the few times they've really gotten in behind Benuel City, but the referee gives it to Benuel for an, an infringement. But Musafira showing his, his pace and his strength there. He's certainly a player they need to get into the game more. Scored in the league this season. David Musafira. Musafiri, rather. Ball right below us. Balavura, Hamilton, spreading it all the way across the pitch. Salima. Now Dacus, working it forward here. Brooker, Brooker to the byline. And into the backside of Armstrand, who sends it out for a corner. Slowly building ahead of steam here, Goulburn Valley. I think this might be their first corner of the game. They've waited 34, nearly 35 minutes for it. Asawa to take it. Likes of Dacus is in there. Paulick. Ball doesn't reach them. Still bobbling around in the area. Dacus. Back to Azara. Another cross in. Good intervention there by Muhammad. And they should get out of trouble here. Benul. And a good sliding tackle there by Balaburov to prevent defence being turned into attack, which which Stella has so often done there on this left-hand side. He's been terrific so far this evening. As has this man, Hatsukinolaitis. Tyre. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Kirkus trying to bend it around and another opportunity missed. It was a more difficult one. The ref the the uh, touch, touch, the line, the assistant gives it as a uh, an offside. Was that offside? I'm not sure. Either way, it's out for a goal kick. That's all that we need to know at this point. It didn't score. Yes, goal kick it is. And again, a lot of missed passes. Some of their passing has been very sloppy, both giving it away to the opposition or missing teammates, putting it out of play. Has been one of the real problems so far for Goulburn Valley. They will go into half time thanking their lucky stars. They're not further behind. They really could be out of business here as Gatkin beats Stella to it. Stella does well to, for, to force him back to Varley, who, uh, as you can see with the hands on his head, is disappointed with that, with that clearance. More sloppy mistakes from the men in white. And Hansa Kinelades has the throw. Here's Kirkus. He might back himself again. He runs into Pollock, though. Varley, better clearance this time. Straight up the middle. And now it's Dacus who's running onto it. His touch was just a tad heavy. Here's Osaba there, though. He's been one of their best so far. He's come closest to forcing that excellent save out of Collison a few moments ago. Musafiri. Bitten to it by Hatsukanalides. Here he is again. Could be a real action packed last seven or eight minutes of the half here. Both teams look keen for a goal. But Newell to add that second that they really should have got a number of times over and Goulburn Valley to try and get themselves back into this tie. Give themselves something to go on with 
at half time and probably land a bit of a psychological blow on Benul if they can score, given how much better they have been and they haven't been able to add to their lead. If Golden Valley can score, it would be a, a real letdown for the Clarets. And Golden Valley do have it in threatening territory here. Balaburov with the free kick. Gatkin is up there. Paulik as well. It's Balaburov. And a player went down in the area. It's Musafiri is back on his feet. The ball bobbles around. And eventually, but you'll get it clear, though not all that convincingly. Hamilton will look to keep the pressure on. And now Balaburov wins a throw in the final third. It was Musafiri who went down in the area. There, there was no real claim of a penalty, though. Certainly not from the Golden Valley players who are getting on with it here. But that's a, a giveaway of possession by Balaburov. Siuk Lee. Doing well in close quarters and then sending a lovely ball down to Kirkus who just couldn't quite get there in time. Taylor across with the tackle to see it out of play. He has really lit up this game so far. Suk Lee, the Korean. Quick throw in and Benul getting on with it again. They want that second goal before half time. 40 minutes gone. Ball comes in. Stella's in behind and Gakum got back just in time. He claims there was a handball anyway. But they are still living very dangerously at the back, Galvin Valley. As I said before, if they can get into the sheds, only a goal down, that will almost feel like a, feel like a success for them. They have really looked ropey at the back. And Gakum sending it back to Valley. As we speak, don't want any more mistakes this time. Bailey finds Salimi on the outer side in front of the grandstand. He can't keep it in play. Again, Benul players with acres of space on this near side. Suk Lee playing in Stella. He's off this time. Straight off a couple of times recently, Stella. Hasn't altered the fact that he's had an outstanding first half. He's certainly not Robinson Crusoe as far as Benul goes, though. They have had a terrific team performance in this first 41 and a half minutes they don't want to spoil it though by letting Golden Valley back into the game before half time here's Muhammad and again out to, out to Hatsukinolaitis you can stop and have a cup of tea here on the near side he's just got so much room it's happened time and again here's Armstrand Akuda, Siokli creeping in behind. He can't quite get there in time. And the goal kick for Goldwyn Valley. Thankfully, the rain has abated here. It was uh, pretty wild and woolly conditions at the start of the game, but it's actually developed into a nice, cool evening for football. No great breeze of any to speak of, and there's not a whole, it's no rain at the moment. It's not all that cold, it's chilly, but uh, nothing too out of the ordinary for this time of year. Here's Dacus. Late stages of the first half. Dacus is full of running, but Vukicar points him. Muhammad. Hatsa Nicolaides down this left-hand side again. Long ball, Taya sees it coming and goes back to the safety of the keeper.
Here's Hamilton. Osawa. As good as they've been up front, Banyul, despite the missing chances, they have looked very lively up front, particularly then down this left-hand side, but they've also been very solid at the back. Golden Valley haven't pressed them all that much, but the likes of Armstrand and Muhammad and Vukic look very comfortable back there on the ball. They're going to be tested here, though, as it's Brookeru might sneak in behind here. He has a flying shot, and Collison doesn't need to worry about that one. That sailed over his head a bit like the planes that are sailing over us on the way to Telemarine here. Into the last minute of first half regulation. Both teams will probably be happy to shut up shop and go into the sheds with the current scoreline intact. The Newell City won. Goulburn Valley Suns nil if you've just joined us. Ryan Kirkus on the sixth minute with a long range shot outside the area. Beating Samuel Valley in the Goulburn Valley goal and giving them the lead. And here is the goal scorer Kirkus down the left hand side looking for a second. He comes in board. Couldn't quite get the shot. Stella can. Plenty of white shirts black back there. And that's enough says the referee. No added time at all. In fact, going by our clock, we haven't even played the full 45, but the referee is the uh, official timekeeper out there. He says half-time, and that has been an outstanding half of Australia Cup football for Banyul City against a opponent that are two leagues ahead of them. You wouldn't know it by a general play. They have dominated, and they lead through a six-minute goal to Ryan Kirkus, and they really should be much further in front. They've had ample opportunities. They've missed some guilt edge chances, Goulburn Valley had one shot on target and very little else. At halftime in the Australia Cup at the Valley Park Events Centre, it is Banyul City 1, Goulburn Valley Suns 0.
Welcome back to the Valley Park Events Centre in Melbourne's northwest for this Australia Cup Round 6 clash between Golden Valley Suns and Benuel City. A clash which Benuel City have, uh, have had much the better of in the first half. They lead it by a goal to nil. The goal coming from Ryan Kirkus in the sixth minute. And we're getting prepared for the second half to get underway. It looks as though Benuel City, despite being a goal in front, it looks like they're going to make a change at half time. With uh, number 19, uh, Barras Thomas Romeo, or Romeo, coming on. Apologies for my pronunciation there, but Barras Thomas Romeo coming on. So an interesting uh, tactic there from. Dominic Barber, maybe there is an injury involved, but they uh, have made a change despite being a goal to the good. They really should be much further in front. They were clearly the better side in the opening 45. Two or three other guilt-edged opportunities that really should have been put away. Goulburn Valley, lucky really to still be in the tie, but they are the higher ranked of the two teams and they'll be looking to try and make the most of their luck and come out much better in this second half they'll need to be much better or they really will uh, go down by multiple goals away we go lovely conditions for football here this evening it was a bit wet and wild earlier on but it's cleared up and there really is no excuses for either t team here this tie very much still in the balance despite Benuel's dominance in the first half they weren't able to make the most of it only a one goal lead doesn't mean much in knockout cup football. So Romeo has come on. We'll try and, uh, try and endeavour to uh, find out who he has replaced. But he could be in the action here, Thomas Romeo. The ball coming in from the left hand side. Going to the northern end in this second half, Benuel. Goulburn Valley to the south. And here's Daniele down below us. He might be another change made for uh, Benuel at half time. Here's Salima with the throw for Goulburn Valley. Poik. Back to Pollock in the centre of the field. Long ball forward. Salima is scampering after it, but Thomas Romeo doesn't uh, doesn't mess around there. There's no holds barred defending by the substitute. Sending it on to the uh, pitch behind us. Someone will have a bit of work to do to go and fetch that. One of the few attacking throws they've had so far this evening, Goulburn Valley, and they would have Wanted to have done better there. That coming straight off Brooker and out of play for a Benuel throw. Daniele with it. So a bit of a delay here whilst they retrieve the ball from the next field. And also it looks like Asawa has a bit of a blood nose maybe. So he's coming off to get some running repairs. And away we go. Here's Thomas Romeo who's only just come on. He's already been right in the thick of the action as time as has Daniele, the other substitute for Benuel City at half time. And he has the throw here right below us as the planes continue to come in overhead. Maybe you can hear them in the, uh, in the background. We can certainly hear them at the ground. Here 
Here's Daniele again. Thomas Romeo. Hamilton. Need to get him into the game with there to retrieve something here. Goulburn Valley Suns. That ball was a bit over hit though. We've got the ball in the forward third here though. Goulburn Valley Suns. Hamilton goes in search of Brooker. The flag's down and Brooker works Collison who got down very nicely. Early shot across the bows there for Benuel. They need to not slacken off at the back because Goulburn Valley are going to come at them. That was probably along with a shot from Asara in the first half. That's probably as close as they've come. Hasn't had a lot of work to do tonight, Collison, the Benuel skipper. But when he has been called on, he has been right on point. Two excellent saves to keep Benuel in front. Muhammad has been very impressive. And just as I say that, he gives the ball away. I've mozzed him. He has another go here. Now Armstand. Armstand again. On towards Stella, who was very impressive in the first half as well. They win a throw here to Benuel. Armstand. Nice fake and then sends it down the channel. They're on the front foot here. Benuel looking for a second. They pull it back and a good intercept, and intercept there by Sawilla. Sawilla. And now they're turning defence into attack here. Goulburn Valley. It's Brooker who's on the break. Came close moments ago. He has another go and that was never going in. They are looking a little more threatening here, the men in white. Elijah Brooker with a couple of opportunities early doors in this second half. Just a reminder that for all Benuel's good work in the first 45, their lead is a very slender one. Solima. Well, ricochets out towards Thomas Romeo, who's done plenty of work in these few minutes he's been on the ground, and he's won a free kick here right on halfway. Obviously, he's full of energy having just come on, and he's certainly exhibiting it out there. Vukic to take the free kick. He goes long. Kirkus was the target. Taylor up high to beat him to it. Hamilton and Thomas Romeo. Thomas Romeo had his hands on him. And a pretty easy decision there for the referee. I mentioned before that... Both these teams are having contrasting seasons at league level. Goulburn Valley Suns have not won a game all season in the uh, in the NBL, MPL 2. They're bottom of the table there with just one point. Seven defeats and a draw. But they did have a big win last time out in the Australia Cup. 5-0 over North Sunshine. Benuel having a much better time of things in the State League 1 Northwest. As that ball forward is over hit and it goes straight to Collison. Yes, Benuel are nine unbeaten in all competitions. They defeated Moreland City last week. Sorry, they defeated Keelor Park last weekend, 4-2, with uh, Ryan Kirkus, who's the goal scorer tonight. He scored a hat-trick, so he's certainly in good scoring form. And here's Thomas Romeo trying to set away Stella. Gatkin was in behind and he... Knocked it clear. Now Varley is there. And it wasn't the most convincing defence there from Goulburn Valley Suns, but they do get it away. 
Here's Muhammad in midfield. Well, that's a nice ball through towards Stella. Stella sneaks it past the keeper. It's off the upright. Goodness gracious me, they should be three or four up, Vignul. They've had some close calls tonight, but that one tops the lot. Robert Stella did everything right. It was a magnificent ball from Muhammad. The run was timed to perfection. Stella stroked it just past Varley. The keeper was beaten all ends up, and it rolled dead into the post. They do have a, do have a corner, though. In it comes. Can they hit the target this time? Muhammad got his head to it. The whistle was up. Well, the whistle was blown, rather. And Goulburn Valley Suns get away with it again. There's still a goal down. But they could easily be three, four, even more down. And given the nature of these cup competitions, there's always the possibility that Benuel could live to rue those missed chances. That one wasn't even really a miss. He did everything right, Stephen, uh, Stella. Anyway, Goulburn Valley trying to do some attacking of their own here. And, and Thomas Romeo has been very busy since coming on. Is called into defence. So they've got a throw deep in the attacking third. Comes out to Hamilton. And it's flicked on. Well wide though. But it was flicked on by number 16, who's another player who seems to have uh, evaded the team sheet. So we'll, uh, we'll endeavour to find out who he is. That's the, uh, the nature of us being a solo commentator in local football, folks. There's another player coming on too, another change for Benuel. So despite being in the lead, they have been ringing the changes. Of course, there are five changes available in this competition. Ethan Gage looks like he's the man to come on, doing his shoelaces up below us. Looks like it's Daniele who's coming off. And from my recollection, he only came on at half time. So I'm not sure what the situation is there. But it is Ethan Gage coming on the number seven. So that's another change for Benuel. Somewhat unusual for a team that is in front and well on top. But they do have league commitments to think about too. This is a midweek game. Good tackle there by Taya. Number 16 for Goulburn Valley Suns is Alex Caldo. So he looks to have been a change for them in halftime as well. Playing up top. Obviously on to try and get a goal. They have looked a little better since the break. In the first 12 or so minutes of this second half. And they're on the move again here. The Suns. It's Balaburov down the outer side. He's dispossessed and the ball goes out of play and it's a Benuel throw. Okuda with it. Mohamed. Vukic.
Perkis, done plenty of work, coming at the ground, and now it's Thomas Romeo who's coming away. He's got a pair of white shirts with him. He's beaten one. He might have beaten the other one here. He's a tricky customer, and he goes down here. And it's a yellow card for Tutu Taya, the first player to go into the book this evening. And that was a pretty regulation booking there for the referee. So, another free kick here in promising territory for Benul. It's Kirkus to take it. Thomas Romeo is in the area. Armstrand there too, Muhammad. Francis Sarkis. Kirkus. Already scored one. There's three men in the wall. And Kirkus goes for goal and he scores. He went to the near side. He caught the wall un unawares. He caught the keeper unawares too. He scored his second of the night. Van Yule's second of the night. And finally, they are getting reward for effort. They have been clearly the better team this evening. They have had a hat full of chances. And finally, they've taken a second one. And it's a very long way back for Golden Valley Suns now. It is Van Yule City 2 Golden Valley Suns nil and we have gone we have gone the best part of an hour here at the Valley Park Events Centre an hour exactly well what a week it is for Ryan Kirkus he's certainly got the scoring boots on a hat trick in the league on the weekend against Keylor Park. And he's got a brace so far this evening in the Australia Cup and you wouldn't bet against him getting more. But Goulburn Valley on the move now. They're really in dire straits. They've got to try and turn this around soon. Here's Solima, he goes down. An opportunity might have opened here for them. Gatcombe over the top of it along with Hamilton. Looks like Hamilton has uh, decided to go into the box instead. So it's Gatcombe over the top. Two men in the wall. He sends it into the far post and Collison again. Didn't need to be bothered about that one. Gatcom not quite being able to uh, match Kirkus from a few moments ago. He was a bit further out, must be said. But it's really long-range efforts that uh, that look like the only avenue for Goulburn Valley so far this evening. They did have that chance earlier in the second half, just after the break with uh, Brooker getting in behind. But other than that, it's, uh, it's been very slim pickings, just long-range shots. Still time enough if they're good enough here for the men in white, though. We've got the best part of half an hour to play. Certainly a very open game. You'd be a, be a brave man to bet against any more goals. Here's Pollock. Ball into the area, easy pickings for the Benul defence, which has been almost as impressive as their attack this evening. Very composed back there. They're going to be tested this time, though. And the ball comes in, and that's well over the top again. They're just straining a bit here, Golden Valley. Just instead of playing, just really trying to manufacture something when it isn't there.
Mistake there from Armstrand, and they're on the front foot again here at Goulburn Valley. It's Hamilton. That's a dangerous ball in. There's no one there to meet it at the far post. And the ball's gone out of play. And it will be a goal kick for Benuel. A few more signs of life from Goulburn Valley, but the task has got much more difficult. They're two goals down rather than one. Looks like another player has come on for Goulburn Valley at the break. Craig Carley was a sub that was made at the break. As they come forward here, and it's Cadlow, another one of the subs who had the shot, but he was well offside. Yes, Carley is on. And Cadlow is also on for Goulburn Valley. Not quite aware, unfortunately, of who came off at the ha at half time. They didn't do the subs uh, on the sideline like uh, Benuel did. But they're on the field now, and they've got the job in front of them. Here's another sub, Gage, for Benuel. Kirkus. He's intercepted there by Azawa. And they're away here, the men in white. Azawa's been one of their best. He sends in the cross here. Nobody home. Hamilton's not impressed, as you might have heard in the uh, effects mic there. Here's Francis Sarkis. Just getting the pitching wedge out, chipping it over to Kirkus. They do look very comfortable now, Benuel. Controlling possession. Could have done a little bit better, better there as Taya chased after it and reached for the hamstring in doing so. So there might be another uh, another substitution required here for Goulburn Valley. Kirkus has also gone down in front of us, though he looks like he's more, more just a bit of cramp and having a stretch. Sixty-six minutes gone. It's been a pretty high octane game as these cup competitions usually are. So it's normally around this time when players begin to feel the pinch. Both Taylor and Kirkus getting some uh, treatment done by the physio. Kirkus looks to be okay. He is limping a little bit. Taylor also coming off for some treatment. Yes, Taya certainly looks the more serious of the two. He's uh, limping pretty significantly. And Goulburn Valley are going to make a change. It's number five, Caleb Enders, who's coming on. He was originally named as a starter this evening, but must have been a late change. He ended up as a sub, but he's on now, and he's replacing Taya. So after that intermission, Thomas Romeo gets us underway again. Kirkus is uh, okay to go after having a, a bit of work done with the physio. And we go on. Have Goulburn Valley got, got a response in them? A bit over 20 minutes to try and pull this one out of the fire. Still plenty of time if they're good enough. But it's certainly Benuel who have had far more chances and they might have another one in the offing here as it's Muhammad who's been excellent in midfield. Armstand helping over towards Gage. Here they come, Gage. Finding Thomas Romeo, just let it bounce. He's a tricky customer though. Saluma beat him to it there. Here's Kirkus. Could he have a hat trick? Not from there. Muhammad. Now Armstrand. Really knocking the ball around freely now, Benuel there. 
playing with a real freedom, a real confidence. Here's Armstrong with the cross in. Thomas Romeo's in behind. He lets it bounce onto his shins and the touch was a bit heavy. His coach Dominic Barber isn't too impressed down on the down on the touch line. That will go down as another opportunity missed. So far, Golden Valley haven't looked like hurting them. Here's Osawa though. Long ball, not quite long enough for Cadlow. Does come back to Cadlow though, the substitute. Cadlow again, still is going, bustling up towards the area. Akuda out points him. They both get in a tangle and go down together. And the Suns are a, not impressed that it's been given a free kick for, or a throw rather, for Benuel as we see another substitution below us. It's like Flinders Street Station down there at the moment. It's number two, number two, Michael Paputis, who was another who wasn't originally on the team sheet, but he is going to come on, and it's the goal scorer, Ryan Kirkus, who comes off. There'll be no hat-trick for him this evening, but his job is well and truly done. Two fantastic goals in the sixth minute and then in the 60th. And if they do go through to the next round of the Australia Cup, they'll have him to thank for it. Another change also for Goulburn Valley. Hamilton has worked hard tonight. Hasn't quite come off for him, though. He comes off. And Corbo, Gerald Corbo, is his replacement. So plenty of, plenty of fresh legs out there for both teams. Will it do the trick for Goulburn Valley? It is becoming a taller task for them as the minutes go by. And it's Benuel have got the football here. It's Paputis who sets it out in front of Thomas Romeo. Down the right-hand channel. Saluma does well to outpoint him on that occasion. Here's Gage for Benuel. Armstrand, back to Gage. Thomas Romeo gets in a tangle, gets out of it, keeps going. Up to the area now. This is a good run. He's a tricky customer. He screws the ball across the face of goal. It's kept in. Or is it? Stella was there, but the whistle has blown and it did go out. All the substitutes made at half time and just after it's Thomas Romeo who's made the biggest impact. He has certainly provided plenty of energy down the flanks. Not that uh, Hatsina Kaladis didn't provide it, he was excellent in the first half. Everyone has been a real contributor tonight so far for Ben Yule. It's been an excellent team performance. It's not quite done yet though. Coming up to 73 minutes played. Benuel 2, Goulburn Valley Suns nil, and a Benuel player is down on the far side of the ground, and it looks like the referee's reaching into his pocket, and it's a yellow card there for one of the substitutes, Carly. So Carly goes in the book. He joins Taya as the recipient of a yellow card this evening. As the player he sent down is going to require some treatment. So it's another little uh, little intermission here. We might have a fair bit of stoppage time at the end of this one.
Looks like the player involved is Luke Akuda, who's been a terrific player this evening for Benul. They've had plenty of them, of course, but he has been a very energetic player for them. Playing at full back, at left full back. Or at right full back. I think he might have switched flanks actually. He's spent most of the day or the evening so far out on that far side in front of the grandstand. He's receiving some uh, some treatment here. The referee, the uh, physio looking at him and thankfully he's up on his feet now. And we'll have to wait and see if he continues. It looks like we're ready to keep going and it looks like a cooter is going to continue. So that's good news. So away we go once again. Last 15 minutes or so of normal time. Golden Valley with it all to do. Two goals down. And only a couple of shots on target all evening. They've given up a host of chances to Benul, who really should be out of sight. But the man who has scored the two goals for the Clarets is off. Ryan Kirkus. And now opportunity may knock. Here is Carly. We've just got the yellow card and the ball spills away from him. Paputis coming in. And that was a little bit crude on Asawa for Golden Valley and he wins a free kick. A few good moments Golden Valley have had have often involved Asawa. He's certainly got plenty of energy out there. He's been a good player for them. But it's Carly who gave away that fr or gave away the ball earlier. He sends a dangerous cross in here now. And Collison, as he has done when he's been called on, he's been up to the task and he might have hurt himself in taking that cross as well. He's okay to continue. Francis Sarkis. Akuda. Recovered from that earlier knock. Gage. Siok Lee. Been a bit quiet in the second half. He was outstanding in the first. Here's the Japanese, Osawa. And he bounces that off Armstrand and wins the throw for his team. Saluma takes it right below us. Caleb Enders now on towards Gatcombe. Gatcombe again. Helped on by Cadlow, but nothing doing there for Goulburn Valley. Really struggled to string passes together this evening. That's why most of their attacking moves have involved shots from well outside the area. Collison with the clearance, but the referee will send it back towards him as they win a free kick here, Golden Valley. Paulick. Gatcombe. Can they get something going down this left-hand side? Scampering forward here is Brooker. But there's nobody there to help him out, and Gage will come away again. On the outside of the boot, he spoons it towards the near side, but Saluma, Salumi saw it, saw it coming, and this could turn into something here. That's a good ball across again, and Collison takes it. He was dealt with after the ball was in his hands. He goes down. Cadlow tells him to get up, and uh, this could get a little bit feisty here. Collison holding the back of his neck. And the physios. Gee, they're getting more work than some of the players out there so far tonight. And he will come on again to deal with 
Daniel Collison, who is holding the back of his neck. He was hit after he took that ball. It was a very close run thing, but he clearly had the ball in his hands when I think it was Cadlow came in to challenge him. Doesn't look like there's been any punishment meted out by the referee, at least not yet. But whatever the outcome here, time is really of the essence for Goulburn Valley now. Just over 10 minutes of normal, pl normal time to go. We'll probably have a bit of stoppage time given uh, there's been three or four injury intermissions so far in this second half. But in all the time they've had so far, Golden Valley Suns have not created a whole lot. It's hard to see them finding two goals in the best part of 10 or 15 minutes, which they're going to have to do, and that's just to get to parity, just to get the game into extra time. of a smaller crowd here this evening than you would normally have at uh, the Valley Park Events Centre when Hume City are playing. One of the famous clubs of the NPL in Melbourne. Not having a great season by their standards, but they do have very loyal support here in uh, Melbourne's outer northwest. Both these teams playing away from home. Golden Valley coming down from rural Victoria, regional Victoria, and Benuel across from the northeastern suburbs. Certainly nothing like the crowd we saw last night at uh, Cross Keys Reserve in Essendon, which where it was a terrific game between the Royals and Avondale, which Avondale won in pretty dramatic fashion, 4-2. Really hostile atmosphere there for the, uh, divi for the NPL team. Essendon and Royals really took it up to them. It was a terrific evening. Hasn't quite reached those heights so far tonight, but it certainly has been an excellent performance by Benuel. But will their captain and goalkeeper be able to continue? It's been a fair old injury break. He's up on his feet now, which is a good sign. Physio down below telling the players to keep moving. Don't get cold. It is getting pretty chilly here now. But finally, it looks like Collison's ready to go. So that's good to see. Nearly 82 minutes played. Still Benuel City 2, Goulburn Valley Suns nil, And away we go again. Collison with the clearance. And that's met well by Corbo, the substitute. And another substitute, Paputis, can't quite keep it in. And there will be a throw. But Benuel will keep possession. Just got to control this game now. Nothing fancy. You think they probably will shut up shop from here. Then again, they've created so many chances. They probably think they've got at least one, if not more, goals in them. Armstand goes long here. Comes down towards Gage. Can't quite control it. Paulick in midfield. Pirouetting. Carly. His fellow number 17. Okuda has it. He goes back further still to Collison. Who just bangs it clear. Stella, he's been excellent tonight. His touch was a little heavy there. It was a difficult ball. He does win it back though. And it's Paputis. Now all the way back to Francis Sarkis. Muhammad driving through midfield. He looks like he could play another game. He's had a terrific evening so far, Muhammad. And they have a free kick here inside the Golden Valley half to Benuel.
And if they're not home already, if they can make the most of this opportunity, they certainly will be. Two goal lead should be enough from this point, but they've played so well, they really do deserve to win by a bigger margin. Maybe that will be in their thinking here. Free kick doesn't come to anything though, and instead it's Galban Valley looking to come away. Cadlow intercepted by Gage, but here's Osawa. Saluma will take the throw instead of, instead of him. What can they what can they create this time? Gackham's tried hard for them. He strides into the opposition half now. A bit more urgency around the visitors. Ryan Brooks is on the field for them too. So another substitute has been made by Galvin Valley. Here's Gatcom. Kuda goes down. Play goes on. Here's Stella. And Suk Lee is scampering after it. The flag is down. Knockout blow could be coming here. Suk Lee. Now Stella. Plenty of white shirts arrive. Back to Akuda. And the move breaks down, but it is a Benul throw. We've crossed 85 minutes. Two Ryan Kirkus goals separate the teams. One in the sixth minute, one in the 60th. But Benul aren't done yet. Armstand, nice ball down the channel to Thomas Romeo, who's been very lively since coming on, and he's still lively here. He's inside the area. He sends the ball across. Stella missed it, but here's the chance to finish it. Suk Lee, he's closed down. He puts his hands on his head. He's wondering how he hasn't scored two or three tonight. The opportunity hasn't gone, though. It is another Benuel corner. as another Golden Valley player is receiving some treatment. Looks like a bit of cramp for Salu Saluma there. He's okay to continue. Sukali will take the corner. Francis Sarkis up there. Muhammad. Thomas Romeo. Sukali, not a great delivery. Comes back to him though, we get another chance. And that is good delivery, and it's nearly a very good goal. It bounces off the crossbar. Varley was grasping at thin air there. That must be the third or fourth time they've hit the woodwork this evening, Benul, and that's not counting the other chances that have just gone wide or been saved right on the line. They really could have had almost half a dozen or so. Here's Corbo, right below us. He loses out though, but Pudis dispossesses him. And he himself is harassed. Tassara arrives. Game getting a bit scrappy now. We've crossed 87 minutes, so only a couple of minutes of, stop of normal time to go. Should be a bit of stoppage time to come though. And maybe a late chance here for Goulburn Valley. They're not far away on this occasion. Collison has to come off his line to deal with it. And he hasn't quite cleared the danger. It's Carly now. And he wins a corner. Well, if they're going to get back into this game, it's probably going to be through the set-piece route. It's a Sabre to take it. Carly is up there. Cross comes in. Paulick looked to con uh, control it. Now the shot comes in. Cadlow, that's intercepted through. Caught a few legs on the way, but finally Goulburn Valley Suns have scored. And we could be up for a grandstand finish here. 88 and a half minutes played. And it was Alex Cadlow who had the shot there on the edge of the area. It may, in fact, go to someone else. I'm not sure whether the uh, ricochet was 
was taking it from offline into the back of the net or not, but either way, it is a Golden Valley Suns goal. Benuel City 2, Golden Valley Suns 1. And there is once again hope for the visitors. They really shouldn't be in this contest at all, but Benuel City have butchered some chances. They've also had some flat-out bad luck in some others, but they have had ample opportunity to be well out of sight here. They are not. And when that happens, there's always the risk of the opposition pinching it late, especially in cup competitions. Goulburn Valley Suns have that chance now. It's not the right end of the field for them, though, as they concede a throw. It could be that Banyul do go and finish it here. Surely a goal for them now would put it beyond doubt. We're about to play out the 90 minutes. Still no indication of how much stoppage time. Thomas Romeo trying to keep it in the corner. Players flopping over each other and eventually the referee sorts them out, gives a free kick to Goulburn Valley. No official confirmation yet of uh, stoppage time, but we're into it. We've played out the 90. You could hear talk from down on the bench that there was as much as seven minutes of stoppage time, which wouldn't be a surprise. We've had a, a lot of injury breaks in this second half in particular. So that's more than enough time for Goulburn Valley to to not only get level, maybe even steal this. It's not out of the question. They've got the ball here and they've got plenty of space to use it. It's Gatcombe on the grandstand side of Valley Park Event Centre. Here's Cadlow, the goal scorer, trying to help it towards Carly. Carly's got some room. He gets a shot. And Collison saw it all the way. And controlled the bouncing ball well. But this could be a pretty nervy last five or so minutes for Benyul, who've looked so comfortable for so long. Suddenly they're under the cosh for probably the first time this evening. As I say that though, they get away with it with Muhammad. Now towards Stella. Hasn't stopped running down that left hand side. Ball isn't one of his best. Gatcombe. Deals with it comfortably. And there's a flood of wedge sh uh, yellow, sh a flood of white shirts coming forward rather. But it doesn't come to anything. Paulick falls on his backside and the move falls apart for Goulburn Valley. Who still look pretty scrappy but they certainly are playing with more energy and effort now. They are having a right old crack here at Benuel. Trying to steal something late. Coaching staff for Goulburn Valley urging them on, waving their hands, saying, go long, go long. But it only goes as far as Paputis, who's got the ball in the corner here for Benuel. Ending up a bit of time, but also maybe creating another scoring opportunity. Time wasting looks to be more of his uh, intention there, but he has eventually given it away. And now it's Paulick, and he does go long. Brooks, who's just come on, couldn't quite control that ball. Here's Stella. Skips inside. He's had an excellent game. Now he finds Suk Lee. Suk Lee, well saved by Varley. He's had more chances, and I've got fingers on one hand here tonight. Suk Lee might even need two hands to count them all. You wouldn't bet against him having another one before this game's out. Here's Thomas Romeo. Did Sir Willie have part of his shirt there? And now coming out as Varley and Thomas Romeo has clipped him. What will happen here? Varley's rolled over at least three or four times already. It looks like he's going to be okay to continue. He's certainly, uh, certainly did cop on around the shins there, though, the... 
the Golden Valley keeper. But it is a Golden Valley ball. And straight down the middle he goes. Good header there by Muhammad Paputis. Now Thomas Romeo. And Belubrov couldn't quite keep that ball in play. Thomas Romeo will take the throw, or in fact it'll be it'll be Armstand to take the throw. Right in front of the Benuel bench, who are going to make another change. So that will lead up a little bit more time. Played nearly four and a half minutes of stoppage time. We think there may be about seven minutes. Armstand with the throw. Intercepted. Here's Gackham down the channel looking for the goal scorer, Cadlow. Ricochets all the way back to Collison who doesn't clear all that well. Would have liked to have got it further up the pitch than that. They're on the front foot again here, Goulburn Valley. Seconds ticking down. And going down is Osawa, and that's a free kick in promising territory. It's a throw, in fact, but it's still in the right part of the pitch for the men in white. Saluma. He's outpointed Muhammad. He's been excellent tonight. He's happy to see that out of play. Saluma has the ball again. Now Gatcom. Now Paulick. Real air of desperation about Golden Valley now. Kerbo. Now Brooks. Floats the ball in. Cadlow couldn't quite control it. Ball taken away from him. And a free kick for Benuel. Almost six minutes of stoppage time gone. Can't be a whole lot more left. And Benuel will have a goal kick and they'll be in no hurry here. Yes, Collison's going to go have a stretch, pull up his socks, probably do his shoelaces too. Collison with the clearance. Shook Lee tries to control it. Bangs straight down the middle, though, by Saluma. Here's Carly. He's outpointed, but then he gets the ball back. Maybe last chance here. Great ball across. It's spilt by the keeper, and Cadwell. Cadwell had an opportunity there. It was difficult, but he put it on the wrong side of the post. Collison will thank his lucky stars he got away with that. And that might be enough for Benuel. We've played nearly seven minutes of stoppage time. Those two early goals from Kirkus. One in the first half, one in the second. They look as though they'll separate the teams. They've been much the better side, but Goulburn Valley have certainly put them under pressure late. Will they have time to apply more pressure? Maybe get a equaliser. Here's Collison with the clearance. Straight up through the middle. Over seven minutes of stoppage time now. Paulick. Muhammad is there. And he has no trouble but hacking that out of play. Goulburn Valley really moving quickly now. Have they got enough time? Balaburov goes long. Stella knocks it back his, towards his own goal. There's claims of handball here. The referee's not interested, and instead the referee blows the whistle, and he has sent Goulburn Valley Suns crashing out of the Australia Cup, and Benuel City a very well-deserved victory, a victory that should have been a lot more emphatic than the scoreline suggests. They dominated three quarters of this game, certainly the first half. They created chance after chance. Some of them were butchered. Some of them didn't go in. Just by pure happenstance, it was almost comical, some of them. But apart from a late rally, Goulburn Valley Suns didn't offer a whole lot. Two goals from Ryan Kirkus in the sixth minute and then in the 60th from a free kick put Benuel on the way to victory and a late goal 
that was ricocheted through from Alex Cabwell gave Golden Valley Suns some late hope, but it wasn't to be. The right team won. It's Banyul City who go through to the next round of the Australia Cup, beating Golden Valley Suns here at the Yarrow Park Events Centre by two goals to one. I'm Cade Lucas. Thanks for joining us this evening and be back with us soon for more Australia Cup action. Enjoy your night.